Hey everyone, it's Mr. Dyson. Welcome to Bayshore Family Circle. Today is Wednesday, March 9th, and here are your announcements. Here are your announcements for Wednesday, March 9th, 2022. Tomorrow, Thursday, March 10th, is the Bayshore Community Cleanup from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m., hosted by the Bayshore PTO and YPAR. Parents and guardians interested in helping out are asked to check in at the Garden Gate. And big thank you to Bayshore PTO and YPAR for hosting this, to all the electives that participated. We had a great time cleaning up our community. Be sure to check out our 2022 Black History Month Virtual Assembly, which is live right now on our Bayshore TV YouTube channel. It is also available to view on the Bayshore School's Facebook page. Suzuku Jr. The Musical is coming to the Bayshore School, starring some of Bayshore's own most talented students from 2nd grade through 7th grades. There will be shows on May 13th and 14th. Tickets will soon be available. Please visit our school website at thebayshoreschool.org or download our Bayshore School app. We can get quick access to news, events, lunch menus, staff directories, and more. All right, here are your Bayshore birthdays for today. Today, March 9th, we say happy birthday to sixth grader, Josue Palma. Happy birthday, Josue. We hope you have a great day today. Today, for National Reading Month, we want to highlight and lift up two books. For elementary, this is a book written by Ebony Paul called Speak Up. On a busy school day, a diverse group of kids discover positive ways to make their many voices heard. And for middle school students, this is a book by Janae Marks called From the Desk of Zoe Washington. Zoe has never met her incarcerated father, so when she gets a letter from him on her 12th birthday, she secretly writes back and begins a quest to discover if he was, as he says, wrongly convicted. As the wife of Julius Kahn, a U.S. representative from San Francisco, Florence Prag Kahn had developed her own public identity by writing a column on Washington doings for her hometown newspaper. When her husband died, she ran in a special congressional election held on February 17th. With her victory, Prague became the first Jewish woman and only the fifth woman to serve in Congress. Julia de Burgos, a renowned Puerto Rican writer and poet, was born in 1914. A feminist at heart, her poems, Yo Misma Fui Mi Ruta, I Was My Own Path, symbolize messages of individual and nationalistic freedom. As the oldest of 13 children, Burgos pursued her education at the University of Puerto Rico and would go on to become one of the most influential Caribbean civil rights activists. Toni Morrison grew up in the American Midwest in a family that possessed an intense love of appreciation for black culture. Storytelling, songs, and folk tales were a deeply formative part of her childhood. Morrison became an American writer noted for her examination of black experience, particularly black female experience within the black community. She received the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1993. She is perhaps best known for her novel, Beloved, which was later adapted into a film starring Oprah Winfrey. It's Wednesday. Today's lunch is vegetable chow mein. Other vegetarian options are available. All right, y'all, let's get into some mindfulness. Today, we're going to practice something called seated side bend. So sit up straight and comfortably wherever you're sitting. Rest your hands on the table or in your lap. Feel your feet or body flat on the floor. Relax your shoulders back and down. Let your whole body be still. Stretch your arms straight over your head with your palms facing each other. Interlace your fingers and point your index fingers up like this. Keep stretching up with your elbows straight. Now comfortably bend to one side. 
close your eyes, hold your body still. Feel the stretch in the side of your body. Take a deep breath in and exhale slowly. Now lift your body up, returning to the center. Comfortably bend to the other side. Hold your body still. Feel the stretch in your body. Take a deep breath in and exhale slowly. Now lift your body up, returning to the center. Slowly lower your arms and rest your hands on the table or in your lap. Feel the air moving in and out of your nose. Now take a deep breath in, hold, exhale slowly. Notice how you feel. Don't forget to let someone know if you need support or help today. And slowly open your eyes. All right, y'all, let's get ready to have a great day. Are you ready to engage? Are you ready to educate? Are you ready to empower? I know you are because who are we? We are the Bayshore School. Have a great day, y'all. See you later.